Ingredients used are refined flour, fresh breadcrumbs, fresh orange juice, curd, oil, baking powder, baking soda, vanilla essence, apple, caramel, candied peel, lime, cashew nuts, citron peel, sultanas, glazed cherries. All these are mixed together and we also add certain spices to it like a glove powder etc first we're going to peel and chop the apple cut them into small cubes remove the seeds cut it properly into dices and keep it on the side we are going to finish all the mizza first before starting the creaming over here okay now i'm going to mix all the dry ingredients so first i'm going to start with the refined flour then baking powder exact measurements are very very important over here and then my baking soda fresh bread crumbs i have uh, crushed them okay and mix all this together and keep it on the side it's a very simple method it's just an all-in-one method then i'm going to take this orange juice in this i am going to put curd then oil one tablespoon of oil has gone in this and mix all this together the orange juice was a fresh orange juice okay that is more preferable now i'm going to mix all the fruits over here so the chopped apples and all the fruits fruit mix i have mixed over here and i'm going to add little caramel caramel i purposely added to the liquid ingredient so it is easier to mix properly okay now the fruits can be a combination of different different fruits it's not necessary only this fruits has to go or whatever fruits you want to put you can put it inside it okay keep mixing it properly uh, uh, the fruits were also soaked you know three four months ago i have also added uh, you know uh, uh, the spices that is your nutmeg powder cinnamon powder and glove powder that is your uh, you know choice what spices you want to add plus what fruits you want to add you also can add black kishmish hazelnuts almonds your choice again okay mix all this together nicely and i'm going to add vanilla essence also inside it again mix it properly mix this well okay do not over mix this again uh, this also I can make uh, uh, do it and uh, keep it before okay grease the tin make sure it is greased every nook and corner very very important again and I'm going to dust this with the flour okay because I have to demold my pudding from this so dusting is very very important again okay dust it remove all the excess and put the uh, pudding mix inside here Okay. do not waste anything put all of it together here now this is this we are going to steam okay so first flatten it from the top properly do not uh, um, uh, there is no uh, extra filling on any of the sides just flatten it properly then I'm going to uh, cover it and seal it with the grease proof paper that is your butter paper okay Sealing is again important. This is going to go for the steaming, so it's very important to steal, uh, you know, uh, seal it, lock it up every time. It shouldn't come off while the steaming process is happening. Can you see? It is fed up properly. Now I'll take a big vessel in that, put water, and I have put a stand, uh, stand also in that, and I put this uh, pudding inside over here. Let this you just cover this and let this steaming take place ingredients for the hard sauce are butter water green sugar 
and corn flour now ram is optional over here it is your choice if you want to put it first i'm going to start with uh, making of the slurry so in the corn flour i'm going to put little water and i'm going to make a slurry out of this i'm going to mix all this nicely make sure there are no lumps inside it and make a proper slurry you can add a little more water also if you wish to i have weighed the water over here so exact quantity i have taken i haven't uh, you know put it just like that once the slurry is made i'm going to put water over here for boiling and in this water i I'll let it heat up and i'm also i'm going to add sugar inside it let the sugar dissolve over here okay do not keep on over mixing it just let it let the sugar dissolve just make sure that the sugar is not uh, you know uh, sitting on one place otherwise the caramelization will start taking place so keep mixing also in regular intervals my purpose over here is to you know melt the sugar once a nice boil will come to the water you know you the, the sugar will start melting over here keep mixing again as i told you otherwise the caramelization will take place so just keep mixing yeah can you see the sugar is reducing the water has started boiling over here once the water has started boiling what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the corn flour mixture inside it okay the slurry i'm going to add it there just make sure whenever you add the slurry inside it uh, you have to whisk it very vigorously otherwise the lumps will form over here so mixing it vigorously is very 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 important mix it again one more time and just put this and pay immediately with the whisk just mix it okay it will start forming lumps okay so you have to be very 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 fast can you see slight lumps have been formed just keep on mixing it properly and then you add your butter inside it because the mixture is already hot the butter will automatically melt inside it so the heat and just again mix this properly you can further cook it also if you wish to but uh, according to me it is not required just a little bit maybe but not too much mix it make sure no lumps are there at all and then the demolder pudding which was kept inside in the steamer this is almost for 1 1 and a half hours the pudding has been uh, was there in the steamer after that you cool down for some time with the help of the knife just demold you know uh, loosen the sides and then just demold it and this is the final presentation